Hey, how's it going, everyone? So, this past week I had the opportunity to visit a Frankenstein bicentennial exhibit at the Charles Young Research Library at UCLA. I had walked by it a few times, but I hadn't really realized the extent of what was actually there, and so I decided to kind of stop and take a look at everything. So this is actually the first edition of Frankenstein. It was published in three volumes, and uh, it had no author name on it because, uh, well, presumably because women didn't really write books back then, and so they were trying to avoid problems related to that. These are kind of later editions of Frankenstein. Actually, the introduction or the preface to Frankenstein was written by Percy Shelley, who was, of course, Mary Shelley's husband. And these are uh, comic books based on Frankenstein and also a playbill for a play or plays based on Frankenstein. I had trouble figuring out whether that's supposed to be Frankenstein or Frankenstein's monster. Uh, there's kind of a program in another volume there. So this is Vindication of the Rights of Women. This looks like a first edition by, of course, Mary Wollstonecraft, who was Mary Shelley's mother. And that is a sword purported to be owned by Lord Byron. And uh, it says here that he got it from uh, either Greece or Italy while on his... Uh, after college tour of those countries. This is a, an edition of Milton, Paradise Lost. The line highlighted there is the line that Frankenstein's monster utters in the book. And here we have other ephemera related to the romantic authors. Erasmus Darwin. In just a moment here, we're gonna move on to something a little more relevant. We have right here Prometheus Unbound by Percy Shelley, which, of course, the alternate title to Frankenstein is The Modern Prometheus. We have Keats right there. And right here we have Don Juan by Byron, 19, or 1819 edition. And Ozymandias, which I believe this would have been the first edition it was published in, in 1819. Of course, one of the most powerful poems by Shelley. There we have the man himself, the author. I feel like we should just go ahead and agree that Frankenstein's monster should just be called Frankenstein. You know. I'm talking to both, I'm talking to you and to my followers.